Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So the curve y squared equal to 12x intersects the line 3y plus equal to 4x plus 6 at two points. Okay, so it means that we will have two points of intersection, obviously. Now, we have to find the distance between those two points. So first, to find the distance, we understand we have to find the points. So for example, here, the main idea is that we have a curve. Let's say the curve is this shape. Then we have a straight line, which meets the curve at two places. We want to find those two points and then find the distance between them. Okay, so let's do that. Now to find the distance or to find the points, we have to solve a simultaneous equation. So the first equation is this one. Second is this one. Now, obviously we can choose which one we want to make subject. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. In this case, it is up to you. Me, in this case, I realize I can uh, do something here. I have 4x. I want to choose x, so I'll choose 4x first. Is equal to 3y minus 6. Okay, great. This is 4x as the subject. Again, this is my choice. You can choose y if you want to. But the reason why I chose 4x, I will show you in a bit. So here I have y squared equal to 12x. But now, what is 12x? Ah, 12x, we understand it is 3 times 4x. Okay, so now I can see, or I hope you can see why I chose 4x. Now we understand 4x is also equal to this one. So you'll be 3 times 3y minus 6. That will be y squared. So y squared will be 9y minus 18. Simplify, y squared minus 9y plus 18 equal to 0. Now we can try to factorize obviously because this one is a quadratic equation. That will be this times this equal to 0. y squared is obviously y times y. 18 is what? It is 1 times 18, 2 times 9, or 3 times 6. So we have to choose which pair will make sense so it can be minus 9. So in this case, we can. We, it is done by trial and error. So I will choose this one. I will need 6 here and 3 here. Because I need minus 9, for minus 9, we have to have minus 3 and minus 6. Now we have to check. Minus times minus is plus. Here we have plus, so good factorization. So y can be 3 and y can be 6. Now moving on, we have to find the value of x. So here we have 4x is equal to 3 times y minus 6. So 3 times y is 9 minus 6. That should be 3. x will be 3 over 4. That is simply 1.75. This one, uh, y should be what? Let's replace. 4x is equal to 3 times y is 18. right? So 3 times 6, you can check. 18 minus 6, that should be 12. So x will be the value of 3. So here we have two points. The first point is 1.75 and 3. And then we have 3, 6. So here we have the two points we need. We can just find the distance between them. How can you do that? We have to use the formula distance is equal to root. That will be um, x2 minus x1. 1. 3 minus 1.75 should be 1.25 square plus the value of this one minus this one. That should be 3 square. So we have 1.2 square, 2, 5 square plus 3 square. That should be root of answer. That should be 3.25. Distance will be 3.25 units for the distance between the two points. Again, something if you guys don't know the formula here, let me write this down. Distance formula is what? is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. This is inside the square root of course, given that if you have two points, for example x1, y1, and x2, y2, to find the distance we we'll use this formula. And this is a question in relation to coordinates geometry. So here I did realize that I made a very silly mistake. If you check this out, 3 divided by 4 is not 1.75, it is just 
0 0.75. So we have to correct this. This will be 2 here, and that will be 7. Let's check. 2.25 square plus 3 square root. That should be 3.75. So that will be your answer. Again, my apologies. Always be careful.